Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Etrian Odyssey. I am the RNG Genius, but you may call me Eric and in the last episode we um, <clears throat> we we teleported down into the dungeon on the sixth floor. We accepted quests. We dealt with a spider on the fifth floor and um, reported that and then we tried to get a couple of bug eyes but at the point where I beat like 10 butterflies or not getting even one bug eye I was I, I wasn't confident in myself anymore and I checked if they can actually drop it and yes they can so I'm gonna have to gather those bug eyes at some point not in this episode apart from that the quests we have are um, level 20 Landsknecht um, getting a the the butterfly eyes yes the getting five star seeds um, probably on floor six because I haven't gotten any even one of those um, probably something to gather by the way and um, making a flower bloom on the sixth floor so I'll try to do that in this episode we'll teleport into the forest to the geomagnet ah uh ah -uh, ah uh ah -uh, we won't. I talked about it multiple times. I did not come through. I did not come through. I am a moron among morons. I... <laughs> it is unbelievable how forgetful I am sometimes. I talked about getting those those warp wires like three times, but well, now I remembered. So let us explore the second stratum, the, uh, the jungle area. Uh, there is a monster around. We will put a door here. This seems like a straight passage in between. Do not pick up the doors. We'll walk into the right direction. There's going to be an encounter soon. Wait, what? When did I do that? Ooh, the encounter animation is different. Sleep gel. Oh, let me guess what you do. Let me take a quick guess there. You might be able to uh, put me to sleep. Bore me to death, maybe? No. Bore? B-O-A-R? Bore me to death? No, not either. Well, we'll see what you can do. They are not shock resistant. The enemy has fallen. Oh, sticky goo and good experience. Hello, that's what I like to see. Not the sticky goo part, but the good experience part is definitely nice. Sticky goo and sleepy gel. Newly um, re uncovered enemies. We'll go this way. Let's turn around down here. Hello, mysterious door that won't be opened. Let me take a guess here. Oh, crystal blocks path blah. There's a there's a the um a foe around. We're gonna have to be mindful of that. I will do exactly the same as I did before. Go, go ham on one slime and go volt on the other. I mean, they do have some pretty. Pretty sizable physical resistance, if you can see this. Um, on the end, to the enemies on the previous floor. Hey, hey! Don't bore me to death, dude. Do not, do not. I'm gonna have to go through that process over again. Yeah, you better miss. How do you, how do you miss a person just lying on the floor sleeping? I wonder. You gotta suck if you can do that. Like that's gotta really suck. Okay, enemy has fallen. Oh, that is good experience. Steel lump, hi. That is also quite something. No, stay where you are. Where is that special enemy, that foe? It's probably in the middle of that room. You must plant the seeds in the morning hours. Uh, what? Here? Okay. Well, it's gonna be morning in, in a couple of hours, so, you know. Event. That's enough for me to remember. 
I'll be able to remem remember that location even if I don't put a memo there. Okay, let's try and walk the other right way. Uh, what are you? Poison gel. Venom gel. Almost. I got the idea, though. At least they don't put me to sleep. They just poison. It, quote unquote, just. Uh oh. Uh oh, they don't mess around. Well, they this guy does. Did that. Was that a preemptive attack? That is very convenient. They are stronger than the previous enemies I fought, but they also drop Sticky Goo, so that's okay. Venom Gel. Newly encountered. Oh! This game, man. That was not that far. I did not move it that far. We'll go here first. It's probably the exact same as before, just looping around. Because not only I like symmetry, but the, the game developers do as well. To a part. To a certain point. Nope. And here, we'll try to loop around though. before we enter the dungeon. Another door. More venom. Oh, more previous attacks. Well, I'm not gonna utilize any sp uh, any skills if you're gonna give it to me free. I'm very happy about the 90 experience I get with every fight though. With every, like, two turn fight. Very, very convenient. All things considered. Hey! Why do you live? They have 110. Hey! That's damage, man! That's a lot of damage. Now that I think about it. 45 dudes! Calm down. That is almost mean door right next to me. Step around the corner and make the connection. There's a lot of venom gel in these parts. A lot of it. Um, I want to use a crush. This is not a preemptive attack and you better put some, some, some voltage behind that volt. Uh oh. Yeah, at least that was not... Oh my god! An AoE poison attack! No thank you! Holy moly! You do not do that! I forbid it! AoE poison! No! No, 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 no! This is not how it works! This is not how it's done! You can't do that. Uh, I assume this is just straight and I will come through on that. So we'll explore this this 3x3 three three room in the middle here. It's probably gonna have a gather point. Oh no, sleep gel. What could possibly go wrong here? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the vault with chuckles. It's not like we have a whole lot of time remaining, and um, I might as well utilize the TP. I wonder if we'll make it until the morning hours. I think it turns bright at 5 a.m., so um, at that point I will be able to plant those those seeds for that flower. Oh, there's a foe somewhere around. That's a gather point. Big surprise. Okay, make it happen. What kind? Gathering. Dum, doo -doo -dum, doom. 
Shopping. Shift C enter. So what does my inventory say? What does my inventory say? My inventory says, please chop some trees, man. We need more trees. Mugwort. Lightwood, new. Lightwood. Mugwort. Lightwood. Lightwood. Starseed. My word, daily limit has been reached. Unfortunate. I like seeing the star seed though. Um, you know, wasp ear, like the combination of a wasp and a warrior. Okay, I get it. I get it. But a sloth does not look as ferocious as this. This is a big ass gorilla with a stupid looking face. Uh, not in all of in, in all of anime, I don't think there's a single person with that stupid a face. Um, why do you call yourself Sloth? I do not know. I do not know why he does the things he does, but um, we're gonna have to do something about it. They are probably, they definitely look like they are out for something. They are out for, for some serious beating. Quicken. No. We're true shining. And I'm vaulting this wasp here. Wasp fire. Ah! Don't poison me, bro. Don't do it. Arbuckle. Wasp here is down. Number two. Oh, you're literally ripping me to shreds, dudes. Literally. Stop it, Sloth. That requires the use of a big Q. Ah, self is enough. Yeah, that was, that almost ended in death. No, 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 no. I saw that coming from the get-go. Yep. That's how I'm gonna put it. Is one whole volley enough? No. Well, almost. An attack of, of er, like one attack by Eric would have been enough. Jesus, Mr. Sloth. Jesus. Oh, nice. Amber Lump. New Warrior, Sloth, and Waspier. Now that I've seen normal enemies, um, I do not want to see special enemies like foes. I don't. I don't. Oh. Is that a dead end? Well. How is that? How is about it? How about you? Come on, please. Behave, game. Let's continue a little bit in this direction. There is something coming. Okay, three enemies. I can deal with it. One spear. I don't think they have that much to offer. Getting put to sleep would be non-ideal right now. I will use another salve. That does only cost six and heals way more than a cure will ever. So, self it is. Uh, you attack this wasp here and I will utilize the vault against the sleep gel. Nice attack there. Gah! Don't do it. You don't want to. You behave. You better behave, little one. I will have to cure Arbuckle afterwards. It's not that big a deal. We'll use the cure on with Arbuckle as well, but... Um, 
Oh, nice experience. Oh, that is so juicy. <laughs> oh, you you saw what I saw, didn't don't you? Yeah, let's not use this cure on Arbuckle. You only have... Oh my god! Okay. Um... Hi! Well, you moved. Where you going, bud? Are you gonna come around? I know your type. I know your type. There is a pillar in the middle. Then there is a loop. Except for here, there is a path branching off. And we're gonna deal with that foe. We are probably gonna get slaughtered. But I'm gonna I'm gonna be ready to run away from him. I'm gonna be ready to run away from him. Oh, big surprise. Moa. Hello, um, Mr. Bird. Mr. Man Bird. Mr. Bird Man. I will utilize a salve. Because I don't know who he attacks, but he's a bird. He's fast. Then we will quick and could be good. True shot. And volt. Oh my god! I'm not able to heal that up. Let's hope that Wrath really is drawn, because if not, oh my god. How much health did we just take off? Well, nothing, basically. Okay, cool. I like it. Um, dude, can we talk about it? I didn't mean to. I just, I just ran across... I only have 17 TP left with Eric. Uh-oh, uh-oh. If this attack doesn't get parried, then... Well, we're in for it. Oh, he's he's preparing a big attack. Oh, snap-a-doodle. Yeah, no, uh, thank you. Thank you. I, I, um, I appreciate what you did for me here and everything. But um, we're gonna have to do this later, I am afraid. Gonna have to do this at some later point. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Uh, yeah, that was a, that was a slaughter fest. That was not good. That was real bad. I'm scared. I am scared. We will continue walking around this path because there cannot be much more remaining here. Oh, if I get into one fight, it's over. But there is something. Hello. A large box stands before you. Open it. Yes. Downstaff. Downstaff. Like, I, I, what's a downstaff do? That is a tile. Downstaff? Boar Maze, Downstaff. Increases attack and tech. Two-handed hardwood staff decorated with feathers. Tech is good for both characters. Um, I'd rather take the offensive potential than the... Um, da plus seven damage. Oh, this was incre an increase in uh, HP. Hmm. Hmm. Who do I want to equip this with? Eric attacks more often with his melee attack. Way more often, in fact. And Eric's heals are important on this floor. Very, very much so. Um, whereas Chuckles would not, would only benefit from the tech bonus. She also benefits from the health increase quite a bit. Um, I'm th I think I'm gonna equip that on Eric because he attacks more with melee and he's going to uh, benefit more from the tech. Because we don't need that that like plus three volt damage maybe. What we need is some... You turned around. Oh snap. 
he was he was a preemptive attack well that's a preemptive escape more like unable to run from an enemy you rushed in. come on dudes oh he's so aggroed he did not like me taking his staff don't do it what can I do I'll rush back right like I, I'll be even if I manage to run from this I'll be right back where I left off uh oh that is that's just fuck you too fuck you but you know we have a way out um, and I don't want to gosh I didn't want to go yet I didn't Imagine we didn't have, imagine we wouldn't have picked up the warp wires. Imagine that, that would have been awesome, right? Ha! Ha! Okay, um, let us go to Shaleka's goods. Yep, exactly where I went. Um, let us go to Shaleka's goods and sell a bunch. First off, the bone mace. No need for that anymore. Star seed I will keep. Light wood. Supple wood used to make various items. Like nothing. Steel lump, rare piece of pure steel obtained from a gel. Broadsword. Sticky goo, adhesive tissue from a gel, five times sold. Amber lump, solidified nectar used in making medicine. Keft Apothecary has a new item in stock, the nectar. And mugwort. Nothing there. I'll keep the star seed. I'll sell the blaze oil. I'm gonna keep that. How much is a nectar? 1,000? No. How much is a nectar? 500, huh? Interesting. Let's go to Rada Hall. Report that result. Uh, what? Report the discoveries, I mean. Um, the sloth is sleep gel, the venom gel, the wasp ear. Sleep gel! 88 HP, slumber, sticky goo, steel lump, a formless translucent jelly that engulfs passing animals for its meals. Venom gel, venom. It has 106 HP, drops the same. These formless jellies contain a deadly poison to more easily hunt their prey. Wasp ear. Um, <laughs> the the skill it carries is poison drops amber lumps and something else 88 HP a wasp with a very painful sting where you see one there are always others nearby and a sloth shreds we didn't get the item drop 212 HP with 84 attack though naturally docile ha 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 these strong creatures can be ferocious if forced into battle ha 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 naturally naturally Item Compendrum, Sticky Goo, Steel Lump, Light Wood, Star Seed. I'm not gonna look that up. We just read it all out. Now we go to Golden Deer Pub. Do you have anything? No. Okay. Um, I have another couple of minutes. I have another couple of minutes. And by couple, I really do mean couple. But couple is enough to go back in and plant the Star Seeds. We'll go to the second stratum, and we'll go right to the point where um, the star seeds are, the, no, the golden seed is meant to be planted. Since this is the morning hours, um, or the light hours, I will be able to plant these seeds back here. As you walk through the forest, you reach a calm place where light shines through the trees. Standing here, you suddenly remember the quest you accepted at the pub. The quest to raise the flower entrusted to you, to fulfill the old man's last wishes. This must be the place on the sixth floor that the old man had mentioned as suitable. Plant the seed here? Yes. You place the seed into the earth hole you dug, then begin to pack the earth back on top. As you concentrate on your work, you feel sudden air of imminent a sudden air of imminent threat. A swarm of bees ambushes you. Um, a swarm and two are not the same game. A swarm is a lot of bees, and not 
you're not able to count how many bees are inside of a swarm. I'm able to count to two. I'm able. They have 88 IHP, I said, so we'll be able to split up our resource. Oh, we don't need to. We really don't need to, it's just two. Three whole damage with that new staff of yours, huh, Eric? Huh. Oh, look at you, fancy like nobody's business. Good experience. A experience, we get the stinger. Another wave of bees attacks. Three? No. Okay, we're getting, we're getting to the point where we might actually speak of this situation as a swarm. Eric attacks this bee, Barracus this one, and we volt this one down. This should not get into a, a turn two. Uh-oh. I should have healed with salve. That is enough. Next time I'm gonna have to heal. Amber lump. Chuckles get levels up. Before you can catch your breath, the bees attack again with reinforcements! Not a sloth. A uh, slime. I will provoke these guys. Um, you can attack with a crush. We will vault the slime down and we will salve. We will use the true shot and the vault against the sleep gel. You dick. You dick! Not Eric, man! Not Eric! Ah, uh, Eric, wake up, please! We have to heal! If there's more combat after this, we're gonna be in a troublesome situation, and Keenan is not allowed to get... to friggin' die! Uh, items, we only have... No, we have Medica too. Dick bag B! Dick bag. Do not kill it before Keenan is healed. Okay, Wrath is drawn, that worked. Okay, nice. Eric, you sure. I'm such an idiot sometimes. In video games. The swarm seems to be dying down, but another monster has joined the battle. No, 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 no. Oh, he appeared! The big bad sloth. You give me what you got, because if you don't, I will take it from you. Uh, I just focused all the enemy's wrath on Arbuckle. That was a good idea, considering Arbuckle doesn't have much health left. True shot against this wasp, and we deal with the other one. Uh, don't! Don't do it, sloth! Don't! You have not been um you have not had anything to do with Keenan yet not anything he might be a really good guy you don't need to just punch him in the front door no why asshole I'm, I shouldn't scream so loudly at 5 a.m. oh what a dick man what a really big bag of Ah. Oh, you have to be kidding! I provoked this ass, too! Ah. Oh. Okay, Barracus. Uh, it's gone. I wanted... Keenan's level up is the most important, because he's gonna get swords, and after that he gets a two hit. So, now, I don't know what I'm... This is just not working out, you know? I hope there is not another round of combat, but the swarm is dying down is a fair statement. I'll take that. Really good experience for those. Bent Claw. New item. The bee's violent attack has finally ceased. Remembering the planted seed, you look again and see that it has blossomed into a flower. 
An exquisite blue flower you've never seen before has grown before your eyes. You carefully take the flower and head to town to give it to Valerie. Rare Bloom. Bent Claw Stinger. Let's get out and dodge, mans. Let's get out. And that event marker is gonna be gone. It's 520 already. 520. Do not get into combat. Do not. Okay, we will return to town, yes. And before we turn in the quests, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.